coming up, how to upgrade any car to advanced blind spot management without spending a cent. Let us come to grips with the view to the rear. I'm John Cadogan from autoexpert.com.au, the place where Aussie new car buyers save thousands off their next new cars. Hit me up on the website for that. Now, according to the Book of Revelation in the Bible of busted ass automotive bullshit, blind spots do not actually exist. Problematically, for the designers of blind spot warning systems. At least, they don't exist unless you manufacture them for yourself by getting the adjustment of the wing mirrors monumentally wrong. Which most people do because the standard of driver education is woeful in most countries, particularly Australia. Parents who are crap drivers simply teach their kids to be crap drivers, like passing on some retarded recessive gene. When most people look at the rear view mirror in traffic, here's what they see. The side of their own car, which is pretty stupid when you think about it, because the side of your own car is not a threat. Not now, not ever. It will never jump out and crash into you when you least expect it. It's always there, in exactly the same place. Do you really need ongoing visual confirmation of this? Imagine instead a sweeping panorama of rear vision where you can see everything approaching from the rear to the side in what you might traditionally think of as a blind spot. Would it not be great if you could see everything to the rear continuously right up to the point where that potential rearward threat drew right up alongside you and you could see it out of the corner of your eye? I'd love that. If they can put a man on the moon... How come they can't manage this? The fact is they can and they do, but we blow it as drivers by getting the adjustment of the mirrors monumentally wrong. And to prove this point, I did an experiment. I measured the width of two standard lanes and I hid a bright yellow Renault Sport Clio in a Tucson's so-called blind spot. With the mirrors adjusted badly, you cannot even see a car as prominent as the Clio unless you put your head on a damn swivel, and I hate doing that. But if you extend the arc of rear view by shifting the mirrors laterally out, these alleged blind spots just disappear. They don't exist. You effectively turn them into, oh my god, it's a miracle, I can see spots. And all you need to work this magic is find a suitable landmark. Here, I used a print of Anna Latexia, the Italian Minister for Recreation, seen here in collaboration with her close personal assistant in a photograph taken from Silvio Berlusconi's extensive private collection of such evocative works. So what you do is you find a convenient landmark or perhaps a road sign or tree if there's no convenient, partly clothed hotties nearby. This visual landmark must be on the right edge of the central rear view mirror. And then you just tweak the angle of the wing mirror so that this view is only just duplicated on the left edge of that wing mirror. Thus, the hotties slightly overlap. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Hottie overlap, left and right edges respectively. It takes just a few seconds. A politician could do this. Hypothetically. And not some infinitely up himself, useless tennis playing lawyer, asshole front bencher who's never had a real job, but a hard working backbencher might have vestigial hope. However, if you actually work for a living, you'll be totally fine with this procedure. You are angling the wing mirrors out to give you a contiguous panorama of driving revelation behind and to the side in concert with the central rear view mirror. Sadly, you will no longer be able to see the side of your own car. But hey, trust me, 
It's still there, hasn't gone anywhere, still not going to jump out and crash into you. It's not going to wait for you to let your guard down and then make some malicious move. Visually, it's going to feel somewhat strange, at least for a short while. But the huge advantage here is that nothing can any longer approach you covertly from the four, five, six, seven, or 8 o'clock positions. Suddenly, in terms of threat perception to the rear, it's all glaringly obvious back there. To the extent that you are a complete bag o dip tips if you don't do this. Nobody wants that. The difference, as you can see, is only about 20 degrees of outward orientation of the mirrors. But that critical extra arc makes a profound difference to driving safely in traffic and particularly on the highway. With the mirrors adjusted properly, the rear end of that yellow Clio is still visible on the edge of the wing mirror and I can see the front of the car easily to the side. There is no blind spot and the lateral separation here is one standard lane width. This is a geometrically representative example of actual driving in marked lanes. Ignorance of this is one thing, but being too dumb to upgrade your driving to a superior method is absurd, especially when changing the game up is so simple. The Frank Sinatra approach, doing it your way, is not the rational choice. In fact, let us right now declare a global imbecile amnesty on rear vision where, if you promise to adjust those mirrors with the Minister Latexia recreation in the shower hottie overlap in mind, I propose not to categorise you loosely in that intellectually encumbered catch-all manner. But only if you do it right now because it's important. And before I let you go, I can hear the whining from here, doubtless from some baby boomer abject whiners. I expect some half witch its villain elder to tell me he needs to see the side of the car and the curb in the mirror to park. And he can't do that if he adjusts the mirrors my way. To this special flavour of respected elderly imbecile, I would say, really? If that's your principal complaint, your reasoned assessment of my advice, your take on a proven advanced driving technique designed to prevent you from crashing at highway speeds, then I am profoundly sorry the education system has failed once again. If you pull out to overtake and you fail to see that car that you should see while it is overtaking you, Claiming it was in your blind spot is something the court will not be interested in entertaining vis-a-vis defence. The wing mirrors are motorised on statistically every car, right? So just adjust the damn things in and down to park if you must. But put them back into cleanliness next to hotliness latex overlap in the shower mode before pulling off. I know I always do. And it's always good to have a procedure for... pulling off. To the likes of Bosch and the car industry broadly on blind spot monitoring systems, I would say, well done. A commercial triumph <laughs> designing a high-priced microprocessor controlled warning system that false positives like a 15-year-old and marketing it on the false premise that blind spots are intrinsic to the, to the design of your car. Brilliant! Turning a non-existent problem into a real money saver right there. It would have been impossible to make any money out of a public education campaign on mirror adjustment. All that would do is make the roads safer. I mean, where's the compelling reason to update the shit heap you currently drive? Don't adjust the wing mirrors. Buy a new car. Get with the program. I'm John Cadogan. My work here is done. Blind spots are like hell. Neither really exists. Unless, of course, you manufacture them for yourself here on Earth. And I'm looking at you right now, Barnaby Joyce. This hygienic latex hottie inspired overlap of the mirrors is the second easiest advanced driving upgrade you will ever install on your own upstairs operating system. Seriously, give this a go, it's dead easy. And let me know how it works out for you in the comments feed below.
I'm John Cadogan. Thanks for watching.